What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here and today I'm going to teach you how to set up your Blue Amp series of home stereo Bluetooth amplifiers. Right here I have the Blue Amp 150 but this video will also apply for all of the other amps in the series like the Blue Amp 100. You'll see that it comes with the amp itself, a power cable, and a wireless remote to control many of the amp's features. So one of the first things we can do to set up the amp is set up our passive speakers. For today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to do that with our very own rock shelf speakers, but you can do this with any set of passive speakers you can connect through speaker wire. Now each channel on our amplifier is four ohm stable, which means you don't wanna use any speakers or combination of speakers that fall under four ohms. Here's a chart of all the combinations you can have set up with the amplifier. Now you never want to use two 4 ohm speakers per channel because that will make you fall under the 4 ohm stable load. So now to connect your speakers to your amplifier, you're going to need a couple of speaker wires. You'll take one end of the speaker wire and plug it into the positive and negative terminals here on your amp. So you'll take your red wires and plug them into the red terminals on the back of the amp. Then you'll do the same exact thing with the black wires plugging into the black terminals on the amp. Then you'll take the other ends and plug them into the positive and negative terminals here on your speakers. Now to connect even more speakers to your setup, you'll want to do that through parallel wiring, which just means you're daisy chaining each speaker through the positive and negative terminals with speaker wire. To learn even more about parallel wiring, check out our video, How to Parallel Wire Your Stereo System. So now let's go ahead and turn our amp on. And as you do that, you'll see the blue lights and the blue LCDs light up to let us know the amp is up and running. Now the Blue Amp 150 is really cool because the front panel acts as a touch screen to control all of the features of the amp. We can use the standby button to set the amp on mute, the input button to change what mode the amp is set on, the menu button to adjust the different settings on our amp, the previous button to rewind or go back to our last track, and the next button to fast forward or go to the next track. We also have two quarter inch microphone inputs to connect microphones to the amp. To do that, you'll need a microphone and an XLR to quarter inch cable. So you'll just take the quarter inch end of your cable and plug that into one of the microphone inputs on the front. Today we'll use mic one. Now to raise the microphone volume on the amp itself, you'll want to press the menu button until you get to the end setting. From there, you can use the volume knob to adjust the level of the mic. Then you'll wait till that setting disappears and use the volume button to adjust the overall volume coming out of the amp. So if I turn my microphone on, you should be able to hear my voice coming out of the speakers. Now having two microphone inputs is really cool because you can have two people singing or talking at the same time. Now if we keep going through the menu settings, you'll see that we have treble and bass controls to adjust the sound of the music coming out of the amp. We can use the bass settings to adjust all of the low end coming out of the amp and the treble settings to adjust all of the high end coming out of the amp. We also have a balance setting which allows us to adjust all of the music coming out of our speakers. So if you turn it to the right, more music will come out of the right speaker. And if you turn it to the left, more music will come out of the left speaker. We also have the setting for the echo feature to give our microphones an echo effect. So if we press our button to get to the E setting, we can use the volume knob to adjust our echo from there. So as I raise the volume knob for the echo effect, You'll start to hear my voice get more echoey. On the Blue Amp 100, we have separate knobs to control all of these features. The echo knob will affect how much echo is put on the microphones, and the delay knob is used to set how much the echo will repeat. Now, if we take a look at the back of the amp, you'll see that we have two RCA inputs for our record players, DVDs, CD players, televisions, etc. Now, depending on which input you use, you'll want to be sure to switch the input on the front of the amp so you hear the source coming through the speakers. For example, if you're using the aux input, you'll want to be sure to set it to aux mode on the front. We also have a RCA line output that we can use to expand our setup even further with additional speakers, subwoofers, amplifiers, etc. Now on the Blue Amp 100, there's one audio input and two RCA line outputs, but they work the exact same on both amps. The Blue Amp 150 has digital inputs, including coaxial and optical. For the optical setup on your TV, you'll first want to make sure that the optical output can be used for audio. It should say something like audio out optical. You'll then need an optical cable and plug one end into your TV. You'll know the cable is receiving signal because the other end will light up red. Then you'll want to remove the cap here on the optical port of your amp and plug the other end of your cable in. Then on your TV, you'll want to go into the audio 
settings and switch the output from TV speakers to audio out optical. You'll then want to go into the advanced or expert settings and switch the audio format to PCM so that the stereo signal is being sent out to your Blue Amp. You'll also want to be sure to set the input to optical mode. The great thing about the Blue Amp is that there's many ways to play music through the amp. For example, we can use the USB or SD card inputs, plug an MP3 player into the RCA inputs on the back, or we can connect our smartphone or tablet to the amp through Bluetooth. To do that, you'll first want to set the input to Bluetooth mode, go to the Bluetooth settings on your smartphone or tablet, search for the device that reads Blue Amp 150, and click on it to pair. This is a really cool setup because you can use your device to look up a karaoke version of a song through the YouTube app or any app that has karaoke versions of the song and use it to read the lyrics, play the music, and sing through the amp all at the same time. You can also do this on your smart TV through the YouTube app and use the Blue Amp to play the music and sing along. So now let's play some music through the amp to hear how it sounds. Yeah! Now this amp sounds awesome! Again, you can use the bass and treble to tweak the sound just how you like it. I'm gonna turn it up even more to show how this thing bumps. Yeah. Oh yeah. So hopefully this showed you guys how easy it is to set up your Blue Amp series of home stereo Bluetooth amplifiers. But of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, I'm Perry from Rockville, and we'll see you guys next time.